Hey makers in this episode i come up with one more amazing content on copilot so this time we are going to talk about sharepoint copilot in detail generally you have observed one thing when you are opening into sharepoint nowadays whenever you open any sharepoint site on the top right corner probably you will be able to see this kind of copilot icon over here so this copilot icon is a nothing but out of the box default agent which is created for your sharepoint site this will be available if you already have m365 copilot license if you are not having m365 copilot license probably you will not be able to see this particular stuff but now this recent capability is available in the general availability now so you can always leverage the agent capability within the sharepoint itself if you are having m365 copilot license this particular feature does it included with independent copilot studio license but it come up with m365 copilot license remember about that now over here there are two types of agent you can build in for yourself number 1 on the top right corner you can see this copilot agent and this is your default agent so this is called as an inbuilt agent when you click on this dot and when you uh, think about like more information over here about basically you will be able to see that this agent is automatically created from this site itself and it's created by system okay this is not created by any human all right it is available for all your modern sharepoint site which are available in your tenancy at this point if you are having m365 copilot license now let me talk about one more interesting thing over here this particular feature is very useful when you are having more and more documents and according to one official microsoft survey every day 2 million files are uploaded into sharepoint and you know this particular agent will make your life easier where you can ask the any different question related your content or your document to your copilot agent and it will precisely answers to you so let's see how we can do that so as i said number one agent which is available as this pre built agent apart from that let's say if you are having any separate document library let's say i have this library called hr policies and procedure and let's say over here if i want to build up my own custom agent okay based on only this files i don't want a generic agent that is available in out of the box way but only based on these three files i want to train my agent and i want my agent to be answer from them at the time it also provide you this option create an agent at your library level as well isn't it cool because this is the how you can build up your own custom agent within the sharepoint itself you don't need to go for a copilot studio for that okay again more capabilities are also coming into future that okay sometimes if you want to do some sort of fusion chatbot like something from your sharepoint and something from your dataverse and then you combine and wanted to do end to end that capability is also coming up over here in copilot studio as well you can connect sharepoint as a knowledge source but in the sharepoint as well there is an option to create this kind of agent free without any additional cost if you are having m365 copilot license again it's a 30 dollar plan which you must need to have if you want to build up this agent okay now the question arise in our mind that who can create this particular agent in the sharepoint number 1 for to create this particular agent you require minimum edit access on your sharepoint site if you are just having viewer access you will not be able to create this agent for yourself minimum edit access is required all right now let's try to explore this feature in the detail so first of all let me just talk about this out of the box agent which is available over here in the interface itself let's taste around that and after that we will move towards our creating our custom agent within the sharepoint itself okay so stay tuned throughout this end to end video again if you are watching me still now make sure you hit thumbs up and subscribe my channel it's free for you but it motivates me in lots of other way also if you haven't followed me on my twitter and instagram so far do follow me because these are the platform where i'm uploading short content on power platform so now let's get started so 
Over here, I am on my screen and I'm opening the out of the box inbuilt SharePoint agent for myself. So basically, this is the co-pilot hub which I have created for my company. And over here, you can ask any questions to it. Basically, it will answer from all your document libraries as well as all your site pages that you have created over here. So let me just ask some basic question over here that, okay, I just wanted to know information on employee benefit and welfare program. Okay, and let me just click on uh, send button and let's see what kind of information it come up with over here. So I just hit enter and let's see what it generates. So within few seconds, it started looking at the content and started generating this kind of thing for you. So see, here it is the output which is looking like and again detailed answer it has generated for me and even if you just wanted to look at the, look this one this is what it finally generated over here that okay what are the different uh, employee benefits and programs are there and again it is providing the citation for each of the content over here so you can see that uh, whenever I hover over it you can see this is uh, it is referring from this document or it is referring from this document all this information it is providing to me over here and this is how it looks like right isn't it cool all right uh, apart from that it is also providing you some sort of related question as well from your sharepoint content based on the question you asked over here all right let's say for an example if you just wanted to know more thing about health insurance now you can just select this out it will start figuring out the answer and giving you the output within few seconds again it's very very helpful if any newbie is coming and if they just wanted to know more information and they don't want to just go with the uh, you know a whole uh, documentation and a step by step process by going into each document library this is definitely be beneficial for that all right so gone are those days where you know we are using just like a uh, normal search now ai based search or ai based answer are more popular in the market so start utilizing if you are already having n365 copilot license that makes your life much more simpler here right so this is all about your entire sharepoint site right now let's say for an example i have a requirement where i want to build up my own custom agent for specific library or specific documents then is there any way of customization as i said yes there is a way of it so let's explore that part for that i'm just going to my site content and i already have one of the document library over there called hr documents so let me just open that up and we will build our agent on top of that. So over here, I have one document library called HR policies and procedures. Let's click on that. As soon as you do click on that, basically it will just open up this kind of interface for you. All right. And now what you simply want to do here is I have these three documents over here. Based on these three documents, I want to create my own agent. Okay. So there are two ways to do it. Okay. If you simply clicking on without selecting any file and clicking on create agent, then what it will do? It will create an agent for this entire document library. Okay, which means that anything into this library will be there. It will consider it as a knowledge source and create the agent on top of that. Okay, so this is one way of doing that. When you click on that, you will be able to see this the HR policies and procedure agent and you know it provided the entire folder as a knowledge source over here okay but let's say for an example you don't want to do this you want to have a specific file to be selected let's say i want to select this file this file and this file and then i want to create an agent then you can simply clicking on selecting three files and create an agent and when you click on, on create an agent basically it will show you this agent will based on only on this three files and you know here you need to provide the name of your agent as well right but this is how it looks like now it's up to you that how you want to simply customize it for yourself okay what i'm doing right now is i just want to customize it based on these three files okay i don't want any other files to be included into that so i'm selecting this three and clicking on open agent as soon as you clicking on open agent basically it will create this kind of agent for you okay and this is what it looks like out of the box way all right let's close this thing and if you have observed here one more stuff it created this kind of agent file over here within your library as well 
all right now let's say for an example if you just want to uh, customize your agent a little bit click on this and probably over here there is an option available as well to customize it out okay so let's see how we can do that to make the changes for your agent again select three files on which you created that particular agent and now over here again clicking on create an agent all right and instead of opening the agent there is an option available called edit click on that as soon as you edit that this will open up this kind of interface for you where you can customize your agent the way you want so let's provide my agent name over here called hr copilot so i'm just changing the name over here as hr copilot all right you can change the image if you want so Whenever you click on change, you can just simply, you just need to simply upload any image. I'm not uploading anything over here. And again, description is something which you need to provide over here. So here, like this is an agent curated based on the content from the selected sources. Uh, you are HR agent. People will ask different questions related company's culture you need to answer in professional and friendly tone okay so here i'm just providing uh, the description over here uh, I, I i don't provide this last line over here because it's not like an instruction it's just like a description of the agent okay if you go to the sources you can see that we have connected these three files at this point maybe in the future if you need that you want to connect one more extra or anything else you can simply clicking on add new libraries or folders or those things over here all right perfect and now at last there is a behavior section as well so behavior is nothing but whenever your agent is opening for the first time what you want to implement or any instruction that you want to specifically give to your agent that's something you need to configure into your behavior section so let's say for an example uh, here i'm just changing a message over here so uh, welcome i am hr copilot you can ask me any question on policies procedure and company's culture company's culture okay i'm just providing this kind of message over here start a prompt means that what kind of question you think uh, which user can just ask here just provide two three sample question over here so instead of this out of the box question you can just customize it the way you want okay so here i'm just uh, uh, providing like information on employee benefit and welfare program maybe just giving this kind of example over here okay like a uh, second i'm providing like leave policies okay and probably uh, let's say i'm just providing best practices for coding and development okay maybe something like this i can i'm just providing here let's see uh i mean most relevant question you can just apply it over here all right then over here like provide accurate information about the content in the selected file and reply in the formal tone uh and let me just give you some more instruction as well over here that uh, you are you need to act as company hr do not use any harsh tone give the answer in simple language and more precisely okay so i just provided this instruction over here all right again over here there is one more option available add advanced customization in the copilot studio so maybe you can customize more with the copilot studio but right now when you click on that this feature will be coming in the future right now on the recording of the time on uh, this 30th march 
2025 this feature is not available so maybe in the future if it is available i will build a separate video for that but right now it's not that okay so that's it and clicking on save as, over here all right and you are just changing this a little bit based on this thing all right and it's being saved perfectly and now let's see uh let's see and let's just play over here okay so you can see that this uh, is created just a new one for me right now all right you can delete the existing one if you simply want to do it and let me just clicking on this now and this will play uh hr copilot agent for me over here and you know uh, the welcome message is showing the exactly which i provided over here as a custom one all right now simply what you can do here is you can uh, select anything over here and hit message and you can just get an answer from your reference documents over here so let's see how it looks like so it is just looking at the different documents and providing you the information on the leave policies over here as well as some sort of reference document as well for you okay let me just provide some sort of uh, instruction about uh, troubleshooting or maybe uh, details on the how to solve the technical problem okay best way to solve git repository related issues okay let's see if it has this kind of content or not maybe based on that it can refer me some documents and not let's see all right and you can see that i have something right that into one of the document and it just find out that for me and just uh, give it me this information over here and you can always see the citation that from where it pick up this content right so all good all right let me just close this out and i'm all good with this now okay so using this you can open or simply you can again click on this agent on the top right corner which is available at your site level okay and over here as well it will be showing your uh, agent hr copilot you can simply open that as well so on the left hand side as well you can just open it up into the same fashion and just pick up the appropriate agent from this overall sharepoint if you just wanted to have a look around that okay so this is how you can simply do this out again there is one more way the question arises that how you can distribute this now with the users right so there is a specific share option available over here so you can simply click on share and this agent will be shared with the different users so now i'm not sharing it out but you can just simply share it out and basically just uh, give them the link they can open the same thing into microsoft teams as well if they want and just get the information that they want so that's all all about sharepoint agent which i wanted to cover up into this session if you find this video helpful make sure you hit thumbs up and subscribe my channel and don't forget to follow me on my twitter and instagram again if you are looking for any kind of paid training the information is always available on the my website www.powerplatformtrainings.com go there and check out the latest training information or you can find all the details in the description box i am conducting the different trainings on the power platform so you can always join my live classes which are happening on every quarter so for more information connect me over there with that note this is truvin signing off see you in the next video with some amazing content till then Have a great day. Goodbye.